Winner. <laughs> There's nothing like the feeling of punting and still winning. And opponent, you have no deck. <laughs> play this Karn. I know we can play God Pharaoh Statue, but it's not what I'm trying to do right now. And I will tell you why. Because that's why. I needed to keep that in my hand. Because now if he has any discard, I'm fucked. Fuck! Uh, it'd be a shame if I had to shatter the sky, right, opponent? It would be a shame. It's not land destruction. It's land exilation. Yeah, this was the other deck that we were running today that was really sweet. It was basically a no card advantage artifact deck. We're running Ugin to make everything cheaper. We're running Card as our Karn as our card advantage. And then Azur's Gateway, which we never actually got to flip, but we were using that and Banefire for our finishers that we also never got to do. And then Heliod's Intervention to gain a bunch of life. So that when we did flip Azure's Gateway. So Azure's Gateway, for those who are not familiar, um comes out as an artifact, just two mana. Pay one, tap it, draw a card, then exile a card from your hand. Cards with five or more different converted mana costs are exiled with Azur's Gateway. You gain five life, untap it, and transform it. But yeah, once you flip Azur's Gateway, you can tap and add X mana of any color where X is your life total. And we were just basically going to use that for Banefire to kill him. But usually we ended up just putting out Olamog for super cheap. And then just attaching Helm of the Host to it to make infinity Olamogs. Usually after we just got one copy of Olamog, then it was just game over. Because if you attack with two Olamogs, they essentially have no library anymore. Well, maybe they wouldn't work, actually. Maybe the Mirror March ones wouldn't work. I don't think those would work either. Yeah, we have the four Fountain Renewals in here. Just cheap artifacts, but also very good against aggro. Grab Digger's Cage, just a couple of those. Still really good against a lot of the decks in Historic, like the Winota decks and the Luris Rakdosak decks. Deafening Clarion, Shadow of the Sky again, just teching against aggro. Um, these are also really good cards to just throw into your Azure's Gateway. Um, three and four converted mana cost, uh, so it takes up two slots in there if you're going up against like a control deck. But Azure's Gateway sucks against control decks because they usually end up just bouncing it before you can flip it, which sucks. Um, but yeah, Karn to this is also a finisher. Uh, we make Karn Strucks, get plus one plus one for each artifact you control, which is another reason we have the Fountain Renewals, Grab Digger's Cage, Azure's Gateway, all that stuff. And then Karn the Great Creator, this is what gets us access to our sideboard. And then this also can turn our God Pharaoh statue into a 6-6 six, six creature, and then we can also attach Helm of the Host to that and make copies of it, so that all of their stuff becomes super expensive. And then of course Ugin, you could destroy something that has a color, so something that's not a colorless. And then you can make two 2 creatures. It's pretty sweet. That's basically the base of this deck. It did a lot better than we thought it was going to. It shouldn't have done as well as it did. I think in Constructed Event we went 5 and 3. Always forget Olamog is not an artifact. Yeah, it's colorless. It gets cheaper from Ugin though, which is also awesome. Yeah, so Olamog just cost 8. But for real, I think this deck would be better if we took out Azure's Gateway because we just can never flip it. And then take out Banefire. That gives us four cards. We could do like four maps for that. I think four maps would probably be better, to be honest. That would buff up our Karnstrucks. It would ramp up into Olamog. Demir Tezzeret. More memes. Yeah, but the Tesseret just gives creature and planeswalker have affinity to artifact. 
Oh, so you can literally just make Olamog free. Because it's all that. Yeah, so we could put in a couple of these Tezzerets and then put in that uh, Karn's Temporal Gateway. That's all you gotta do, just Karn's Temporal Gateway. Put everything in the battlefield. Stone Coil Serpent is a good blocker. Yeah. We have him in sideboard, but we could probably put him in main board. I think putting maps in may be better, though. We have so many board wipes that I think the Noodley Boy is a little bit worse. Noodley Boy is really good against control, but that's pretty much it. I mean, it does good against aggro decks once you've stabilized a bit. But we have so much to do with our top end mana, the Noodley Boy isn't as good as we want it to be. Oh, the token didn't have flying? That's fucked. We need a name for this deck, though. What do we name this deck? What do we name it? Let's call it Helmamog for the time being. To be fair, this deck shouldn't be winning. The other ones probably also shouldn't have been winning. Three Olamog, three Ugin? Yeah, well, um, Ugin makes Olamog two mana cheaper. So it kind of helps that way. And Ugin also makes everything else in our deck cheaper outside of our board wipes. Right? So it's like... It's greedy, but it's also, it has a huge payoff in the long run at the same time. Still have to play Ugin first. You know, I'm just trying to justify my bad deck building skills, and you're just going to have to deal with it, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's fine, I play Hondins. <laughs> I have still not even touched Hondins. If you have a deck list, I'll take a look at it though. Counterspell. I actually should have played this Karn because I had a second one. That was really stupid. Any updates on your emotes? I haven't even... I haven't decided on which ones to do yet. No. I garbage without a Mori. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, Fountain of Renewal. Gimme, 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 gimme. Um, I am just right off the bat... Uh, gonna get a Sorceress Spyglass because I don't trust what they may or may not have. What the fuck is this? I don't know. There are great they cast historic spells as though they had flash? Huh. Okay. Mass manipulation, mother of fuck. <sighs> okay. I mean, do I just name Tefri? Yeah, I have no idea. He's like, oops, I don't fucking run that shit. No! 
he got rid of it. That means he must have Tefri, right? Just don't play any permanents. All right. Uh, he can take that Karn, unfortunately, if he has one more land. Maybe. Yep. So he's going to take the Karn. This is bad. Huh. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, if that stays alive and we top deck a land at the same time, we can Olamog next turn. What up, Stacy? What up, Bree? Huh. Okay. Love it when you stream. Aw, bitch. Love it when you come in here and say hello. Okay, land. We gotta land. It's fine. Still get to exile things. Um, still get cage for free again. It doesn't do a whole lot outside of when we get another Karn. We can make a bigger Karn struct with it. I'd love to come here. Not much, Bree. Just chilling out, playing some very interesting Olapog stuff. What's going on, Commodore? Wow, another another Karen. I am Karn. I am Karn. Got it. So he kills my Karn here. Fortunately. Uh, or he kills my Ugin. Probably kills my Ugin. Actually, not sure. There's a couple things you could go for here. Yeah. I can only assume it's the Ugin. What up, Doomsday? How's it going, mine? <laughs> it's good. Poor Eugene. Never stood a chance. My purpose is greater than myself. Hmm. All right, so we're helping a little bit. Helm, I thought about getting Helm. But. Nah. Maybe I should've got Helm. Always Helm. Did think about it. So what does he have? 
does he actually have? Still don't know. And let's see. Then we can also get Helm of the Host. Throw that bitch down. Throw that bitch down. And we can swing. He doesn't have another Shadow of the Sky, so we can't kill it. Unless he top decks it, in which case that would be very sad. Some solutions must be built. It's true. It's true. Castle? What up, Captain Love? 36 hours till a wonderful post ban world. There will be rainbows and butterflies. I don't know about that. Maybe for a standard, not really for a historic. Wait, what about for castle? Oh, name the ca- oh, you're right! Name the castle Vantress. Oh no, they get cleansing, Nova. Or planar cleansing, one of the two. Yeah, planar cleansing. Well, that's bad. New shattered first. Oh yes, yes I should have. You're right. You are absolutely correct. Maybe I should pay attention. Yeah. Um, let's get a big giant noodly boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we got a big noodly boy. Big noodly boy. Yeah, I should have shattered first. I would have won. Gonna have to do that, discard that card, and then pay two and discard both the cards you draw. Treasure hunt? Interesting. I will not lose. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. I mean, I guess we'll do it again. Hopefully, he doesn't have another board wipe and sideboard. What are the chances he doesn't have a board wipe and sideboard? Right? 
slim to none. Probably has a Ooh, emergency powers. Interesting. Okay. We'll take it. We take it. This isn't a fight you can win. I have protection from multicolored. Cannot bounce. Winner. <laughs> There's nothing like the feeling of punting and still winning. <laughs> no, Stacy, you're sexy. Oh, wait, so back to Doomsday's thing. I was playing the Hours Up Amulet Duck last night uh, so I could feel better about that who have debauchery. Uh, I played against a merfolk deck that ended up with a life total of 396, lol. Still decided to play it out. Nice. Strider has groupies? Of course I do. Do you know who I am? I know who I am! I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude! Just kidding. <laughs> uh. Spell Pierce. All right, so we don't do too well against Mono Blue Flash. In Mono Blue Tempo, I don't even know how to beat Mono Blue Tempo. Is there a way to beat Mono Blue Tempo? I honestly have no idea. Just a, other aggro decks? I guess Blast Zone works pretty well. I guess I could Blast Zone. Well, Blast Zone kills everything on their board right now. And we'll activate Azur's Gateway, most likely... I, we're not going to get to the point where we can actually cast Olamog. You need instant speed removal, exactly. Which is why we have Blast Zone. That's an interesting move. Just really want to draw cards, I guess. I would think they would have put it on that, or that, or something. Right? That was a misplay by them, right? No? Yeah. Well, if they attached it to this Spectral Sailor, it would have still been a 3 CMC. We would have taken one less damage, but yeah. We lose our poor... Or cage. So take four damage. Uh, we can try to resolve shatter the sky. Chances of this sticking slim to none, mostly none. Yeah, I wonder if they have a counterspell, Kappa. <sighs> Eight mono blue tempo. 
still my most hated deck to play against of all time, ever. Ever, ever, ever. Aldo, welcome to Sodium City. This is typically where we play land destruction. Right now, we're going for Olmog, top end. And then we copy it with Helm of the Host. It's great. But, it's just a matter of getting there. <laughs> we can get there. It's just, take a little bit. Simic Flash might be worse. I don't know. We need a cage. Let's see if we can scry for a cage. Um. Hmm. It's not really anything in our hand that we don't want, so I don't think we want that right now. I think I would rather just try to get more lands. So, um, since when is Olamag in the game? Since, like, two weeks ago? Is added in Historic Anthologies 3, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. What up, Strudel? Yeah, it has some pretty decent synergy with Ugin. Uh, a lot of people have just been ramping super hard, just doing like mono green or green blue ramp, put a ton of lands in the battlefield and then cast it. I'm kind of going more for the attrition value part where we put down Ugin and make our colorless spells two less to cast, giving us an eight mana one instead of a 10 mana Olamog. But then we end up getting Helm of the Host at a sideboard and copying it. Can. They usually surrender by then. Although I would like to get a land drop for sure. You spark double Ugin. Uh, you just get... You just get another thingamajig. Yeah, you just get another Ugin. Everything costs four less. All right, so we hit a land drop that time. That's good. Cost is six. Yeah, effect stacks. Yep. Decent synergy with Demir, colored Tezzeret too. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Hmm. Gonna need to get that cage. We don't have anything else in our hand. Don't want him to get something, though. He has another creature. I worry. I worry what he might have. We don't have a cage yet. Jeez. Is this third one? Yeah. Okay. Surely I don't have another board wipe. There's no way I have another board wipe. I'll let him have it. We'll take two Demuge. That's fine. We definitely need to wait for more value on the board. I'm not going to use another Shatter on two one ones when we have 27 HP and two Fountain Renewals out. I'm not really worried about it. My life total is trivial at this point. You already had- that's your fourth one already, dude. How come I don't play ranked? Uh, on Thursday, once the bans go into effect, I will be climbing ranked with land destruction only. Land destruction only stream. Ranked can't handle. No, I was going to start on Monday, but then the bans were announced and I was like, hmm. Sweet. Okay, more value. So that's the second Fiend Artisan. It's not great, but... Three, four, six, seven. 
Yeah. So if we get a cage here, that'd be great. Shit. Wish I had one more land, too. We can add one more counter on that blast zone as well, bringing it up to two, which will kill that fiend artisan whenever he plays another one. Ooh, indestructible. Huh. I can honestly say I've not seen that before. Well, there you go. That hurts. If we top deck a land, we can Karn and still Blast Zone. It's a strong draft card. Doesn't have trample. Again, we have Karn on the board, which is kind of most important, and we can defend him. We didn't get any more value out of it this turn, but it stays alive. Unless he kills it, obviously. Obviously. Okay. Hopefully he just goes face, right? What? What? He's BMing me, chat. They may be somewhat of a new player because they, they searched for a fifth Whisper Squad as well. Alright. I mean, sure. And they ignored Karn, I know. Really weird. And I think I have to blow that up on my turn, actually. Because I can't risk him having another um, indestructible thing. Forgot Blast. I didn't have mana for it. It's three in tap. So it's four mana total. I only had three mana open. Or else I wouldn't have even made a Karn struck to begin with. Okay, that's bad. That's good. Okay. See if he kills it again with this thingamajig. Hmm. Okay. think I've ever seen you use Fountain's ability. Yeah, I use it. But when they're pumping out like 9-9s nine and shit, I'm not about to use it. I think that's just not gonna happen. Give me another Blast Zone. Beautiful.
Yeah, I've used it, Griff. Usually I don't use the ability when I'm going against aggro, though. I like to get the life gain as much as possible, especially when I have Karn out and I want to make Karn structs. I want them to be as beefy as possible. The more enchantments I have out, or sorry, the more artifacts I have out, the beefier they are. So now what we get to do... What up, you up, Decca? Yeah! People play that Fountain of Renewal for freezies. Freezies. I mean, they make us sacrifice a creature here. Two, three, four, five. But they don't have enough mana for it now. Um, so now we go back and we get a Helm of the Host. Got curious about the deck list. I'd try something similar later. Sweet. Well, if you do, I would like to see your results. If you have good results. Yeah. Yeah, infinite pogs. Infinity pogs. Some solution must be a curious choice. There are mana stones that make two colorless mana, yeah. And opponent, you have no deck. <laughs> uh. Uh. Dude, Olmog with Helm of the Host is hilarious. I'm such a big fan. It's so stupid. Oh yeah, if you have four of those... Fuck, what are they called? If you have four of them out, it's eight mana total. And exactly, oh yeah, exactly. That was beautiful. Yeah, it's eight mana total. Yeah, Power Stone Shard. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, it's eight mana, and then if you have Ugin out, it's free, basically. Oh, free. But Helm of the Host on Ugin... Yeah, Mind Stone is two mana. What up, Pablo? How's it going, mine? Dude, the whole squad's here. What's going on, everybody? Yeah, if you can make Olamog cost zero or something crazy, you definitely need to come back and get me a deck list. I would like to see that kind of spice. I would definitely like to see that. 100%. It's in four shards, 16 mana, 4 total. Yes, because math. Yeah. That's what I said. Eight times two, right? <laughs> I don't know why I kept this hand. This is what happens when I don't pay attention. I see three lands and I'm like, keep, and then I just keep talking to chat. <laughs> no math. Exactly. Well. Hmm. All right, the landlord is here because Strider keeps. I know, right? All right, we'll take a fountain. Give me a fountain. Dang it! 
I mean, a fountain would have been cool because it'll beef up our constructs, but... Rude. Deer crafting right now, but probably too janky. Basically, the idea is Tez makes creatures and planeswalkers have affinity. Ah, yes. See, that's a 3-2. See, I can't sacrifice my... I can't sacrifice my Karn for something as stupid as that. Maybe I should have just passed and taken the three damage? My username was taken. I like the opponent's name. So he's not casting anything. I'm kind of thinking he has expensive shit. So I think God Pharaoh Statue is the play. Rude. Yeah, no, Esper finally puts down a blue source. I am proud of you. All right. 22 turn clock. Bring it, opponent. So let's see if he has another exile thingamajig. Teferi. Sorry, I'm late. Uh, so he bounces the God Pharaoh statue. That's a really expensive Teferi, which is kind of cool. Just because I worry about him blowing it up. I worry about him blowing up the Karn or the Ugin, so I just want to have a backup just in case. Can I do this in response and then it fizzles? Probably not. Won't fizzle. Infinitely sad. Hmm. I think this is fine, actually. I think that's fine. Maybe. Give me that cage. Give me that cage. Why would you give me the cage? Yeah, Ugin statues for yeah. I could have, but I wanted to blow that up. No, I wanted to blow that up. Get that blue source shit out of here. Got it. No, that was planned. I didn't want to... I did not want to Ugin into that. See? Easy. It was big brain. Galaxy brain. I wouldn't expect uh, Flabians to understand. 
Art cast triggers, nice. Yeah, it's so fucking bustedly stupid. <laughs> Easy clap. <laughs> this deck should not be working at all. How do y'all feel about Winota and Historic? Uh, I don't know. Doesn't affect me. I play EDH only. I play Historic only, so it also doesn't really affect me because those two cards weren't necessarily a problem. Like they're they they were a problem, but not the biggest problems. You know what I mean? Like you just taking out those two cards just empowered other decks to become more powerful, in my opinion. For historic. For historic specifically. I think if they kept those bands for standard and then just added Winota in historic, I think it probably would have been fine. Winota causes more problems to decks that don't run board wipes. Yeah. Like you're pretty much either going to have to run Gravdigger's Cage or, yeah, I know, none of my decks. You're either going to have to main deck Gravdigger's Cage or settle the wreckage. Every time, I'm sorry, I'm going to say it before anyone else does. Every time I read your name, I always read it as Sack Cream. <laughs> uh, I should just learn how to read. Maybe that's what I should do. I should learn how to read. <laughs> Sackerum, <laughs> what's going on, man? How are you doing? <laughs> Sack Cream is definitely a new one. <laughs> Is it the best one, though? <laughs> Sack cream is hilarious. It makes me laugh. Speaking of EDH, I just dunked on a foil mana crypt. Now I've finished all my mono black deck. Damn. <laughs> How many copies of Cage? I am running two main deck and one in sideboard uh, because it's Karn. What? I don't even know what I'm playing against. I haven't even looked at my hand yet. Uh, whenever one or more tokens enter battlefield in your control, put that many plus one plus one counters on it. Okay, so can we live another turn? I think we have to kill this, unfortunately. Never gonna financially recover from this. I I could never financially recover from Sat Kareem either. Yeah. Kidding. Um, yeah, I can't. Yeah, there's no way I would be able to do that shit either. I, I can't do EDH for those specific reasons. Um, I think we just get Glass Casket here. Actually. Yeah, I think we just get Glass Casket. And hopefully we get a land and then we can do like this Karn into a Glass Casket and whatever he puts down. Oh, alright. So he kills my Karn. So yeah, give me a land. There is always another fight. And I guess this is my only option, unfortunately. I could have just not caged, I guess. I still worry that they're playing Winota. I mean, they're playing tokens, they're playing the colors, it's in historic. It doesn't have the typical looks of Winota, but... But you boys gotta worry. It's at 6, I don't think he can pump that up to a 6-3 or whatever it is. I don't think. Um, all that glitters actually does it for him, right? All that glitters hurts a lot. Okay, let's hope he doesn't get in all the glitters. Okay. All right, so he gave me he gave me a fountain of renewal, so that buffs up my Karnstruck. So most likely I'll get a Karnstruck next turn unless the fact that he didn't give me the Clarion makes me think that. Yeah, see that's weird. Why would he not give me the Clarion? Your are 
Okay, so now I can't even do that. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um. Let's just go ahead and throw out this Karn. Make a blocker. And then add a counter. And then next turn we can blow it up to kill that Daxos. Okay, we're gonna need that Clarion. Gonna need that Clarion. It's unfortunate it puts us a land behind, but it's not the worst. So now with this, we can grab... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just grab Meteor Golem. They have a lot of creatures, so I'm thinking Meteor Golem will give us a blocker as well as removal uh, instead of just strictly getting a... Um, a God Pharaoh statue to make everything cost more. Although that is a good idea, I don't know if we need it. What up, BSL? Okay. So this is not bad at all. So we'll just shoot that with Meteor Golem and then get a. Um, get a thing of a it. Home of the host. Yeah. I spot Olamog. What are we playing here? We are playing Olamog, Helm of the Host. Basically colorless deck, but we're running Azur's Gateway to also top end Banefire on top of that. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fortunately, can't do anything else. You will not threaten this world. Um make a construct that is also another blocker he can't make any creatures right now let's just go ahead and get a card Ooh, ugin ugin's nice but we're not cheating in olamog somehow i mean we have we have ugin ugin cheats it in ish ugin makes it two mana cheaper so yeah what up aggro so you're providing the truth to people? <laughs> Always. Don't you touch my Karen! Son of a bitch. Yeah, let's just go in Ugin. Let's minus and get a land. Play this Karn. I know we can play God Pharaoh Statue, but it's not what I'm trying to do right now. And I will tell you why. Because that's why. 
Because that's why. All right, four and one. I don't know why it's working. I don't know why. I don't know how. But it's working. Damn, you can't place it. Nice one. Yeah, I was gonna play that Karn, and since I got back a land with the other Karn, I had my another of the Karens in my hand. I was gonna play that one, make a creature out of there, make a Karnstruck. And then I was just gonna get like another Meteor Golem in my hand so I could blow up whatever he put in play. Just keep rolling the, the prison, the lockdown. But at that point, also, I would have already had Olamog mana as well. So I don't even know if that was the right choice either. All I know is that shit was about to get real. Okay. So we can't really do anything with anything in our hand. Probably should have been Ugin there because I like to have a backup Karen, but let's just hope the sad lad isn't a mad lad. It looks like a mad lad. Hmm. At that point, anything you would have done would have proc concession, which is lethal. Yeah, it's definitely true. Well, Hyper Discard is not good. Uh, if he has another one, we're going to have to bin a land, I think. So we can't get another Ugin. That sucks. These don't have another thing. Ooh, I'll take either of those. Yep, both of those work. Both of them work. Either or. Either or. Um, so, I mean, if he has a duress or something, which wouldn't surprise me, or agonizing remorse, I mean, they have a ton of hand hate. Murder Strider! They're always trying to kill me, chat. It sucks to have to do that on those little bitty creatures, but don't necessarily have an option. Hopefully I top deck a land. Hopefully. Being able to Ugin plus. Well. Huh. Well, I don't think I have anything in sideboard that deals with that. It's the only thing I have, but I'm two mana shy. That's kind of the problem I have right now. Okay, so he does go for that, which is mostly fine. I'd rather have that than him kill me. So he could have just went for me and then got his gutter bones back to his hand. Ugin, yeah, yeah, no, I know Ugin can. But Ugin's gonna die right after. That's the sad part. That is the sad part. And I can't count on just having them just having one obliterator. You know what I mean? So I can't just be like, eh, hey, Ugin, I don't need to worry about a second one. And then Deafening Clarion kills both of those. Unless he has another Phyrexian Obliterator, in which case that would suck. A big fat clown's asshole. 
Okay. Alright. I wonder why that was holding priority. Oh, just because the ability. Ugh. Doesn't know we have Clary on chat. Doesn't know. Easy. Good board wipe. Good board wipe. Did Wizards give you a card to reveal? No. Uh, I actually, I sent them an email and I was like, hey, do you have any cards? This was like a week ago, a week or two ago, something like that. And I was like, hey, do you guys have any extra cards to have me reveal or anything? Because that would be kind of cool. Why did I do that? I needed to keep that in my hand. Because now if he has any discard, I'm fucked. Fuck. Ugh. Unfortunate. Yeah, I sent them an email and they said all the cards were already uh, were already set out. But uh, they said they would keep me in mind for the next set. Just political talk. Like maybe. Well, they can't do anything with that gutter bones now. So that's cool. Uh, do they have another Murder Strider in their hand? Firmed Wasteland and Zendikar? I don't remember what Wasteland is. Imagine if they printed another Land Destruction card and they didn't give it to you. The disrespect. I know, that'd be super sad. They're trying to kill me, chat! Why? Lollapog? Please don't have a fourth one. Please don't have a fourth one. Spoiler alert, they had a fourth one. Yes, Cage does stop gutter bones. I think. I should have played that afterwards. What am I doing? Chat, I'm punting so many times. It does not. Yeah, because it pulls it back to the hand. That's right. It puts it back to the hand. Yeah. It doesn't put it into play. Opponent got you shook. Yeah. That's what it is. Psychological warfare. Can they kill me? He can almost kill me. Let's see if at level seventy mastery passed is sick. Kill me a four Fen Lurkers, chat. Oh, the song creation one. Yeah, I think I have that one. I don't think he has any fasty boys. A curious choice. Hmm. Oh, I should have 
should have Azure Gateway that. Oh my god. Just gonna just gonna stop talking. Um What are the chances he has creature removal? Yeah, I know, that's what I'm thinking. Ninety nine percent, yeah. <sighs> yep. Okay. So hopefully he doesn't just kill my card. <laughs> Where the fuck? Where are my four fountain renewals? Or my two other thing in the jigs? Just play your gutter bones, yeah. Okay, slowly but surely. Sad lad playing Chalupa. Yeah, the poor Chalupa Cobra. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more land and I can cast Olamog whenever I get it. The choices we make reveal who we are. Hey, Olapog. Let's go, Olapog. It'll give me two mana now, okay? Let's not go fucking crazy. Gary, please. Why, why do you gotta wish upon a Gary? Counter spell. Well, I mean, you could definitely just have an exile effect, right? Because black. Or that. Rexian Obliterator. It'd be a shame if I had to shatter the sky, right, opponent? It would be a shame. It's not land destruction, it's land exilation. You are correct. Like, I want to flip my Azur's Gateway, I just don't have the card draw to do it. One, two, three, four. Worst case scenario. Mystic Forge. Yeah. I thought about it. We are going to get this. And we're going to start drawing some cards, shall we? Yeah, that's that's a pretty good card. That is a pretty good card, chat. We like that. Ow. Glad we killed that obliterator. Please don't have another Gary. Be gone in the lower. Our 
Maybe? Nah. We're not gaining a million life. We'll gain two life. Three life. No, four life. We'll gain four life if we need to. Take that. Yeah, GG's. We're five and one. But why? But why though? Get hard, I'm always hard. Obviously. Hold them all, go P, please ban. Wow, we have three Eugenes and a Banefire. But how, I know. But how, though? That's the real question. <laughs> Yay, Yorian. Planeswalker plus Sweeper equals good game plan. That's fair. Again, the shitty thing about fires leaving is that we're going to see an influx of counter spells. <laughs> that, that's the saddest part. It's the saddest part, you know? Yo, yo, Strider. It's been a while. How are things and stuff. Dude, Trojan, what's going on, man? How you been? Things are good. Things are very good. How are things with you, though? Blame Strider? Yeah, you can blame Strider for this absolute nonsense of a deck. Hmm. Well, we don't like that. That's fine. Um, I think we keep Shatter. Um, I think we can bin the Fountain of Renewal. Trust me, I have a plan. The issue is, is Tefri's gonna bounce this That's shit. The trick for this. And we don't have any way to kill it. Well, they're not running fire, this is just Esper. This is just Esper Super Friends. Or we play some board games. FLGS this week. Nice. Just because I know they're gonna bounce it. No, that looks like a thought erasure. For that. Well, there goes my Olamog. So the running Agonizing Remorse and Thought Erasure, I can only assume. Um, this is five, right? Yeah, five or more different converted mana costs. Uh, you could get rid of my Heliods, because he has a lot of enchantments, and that's why I didn't want to get rid of that. Hmm.
they were nowhere close to casting the Olamog, and I think that's why it doesn't even care. Literally doesn't give a fuck. FLGS is a commonly known acronym? I don't know. I know local game store. I don't know what F is. Friendly local game store, I guess. Or my fucking local game store. My French local game store. <laughs> My favorite local game store? I don't know. Yeah. Friendly, favorite, I don't know. Hmm. At least my board game circles, it's interchangeable for friendly or favorite. Gotcha. What up, Trojan? But yeah, so what games are you playing? You just don't know yet? Dude, board games are so expensive. Like, so fucking expensive. Deck idea, Mirror March, Haphazard, Dance the Mance, would it work? I don't know, does Mirror March proc from Dance the Mance? Does? Don't worry, I got they get exiled. Yeah, well the copies do. They still blow up a shit ton of lands. Uh, got my hazardous gateway. I don't see why I wouldn't. So what we could do, all right, for that horrible deck idea is what we would do is we would do a, um, three, four, six, seven. Yeah, we just need to keep getting, we need to keep hitting land drops. Um, what we do is we would do like a self mill into Dance the Mance and then also bring back um, bring that back on top of it. This you know what I mean? Be a bad idea. It's like, if you bring back, um, if you bring back Mirror March, would it proc all the other things at the same time? Would it also do that? If you brought back Mirror March with Dance of Mance? That sounds like a horrible idea that I kind of want to try. Counter spell. When you understand reality, you understand yourself. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. Okay. I almost guarantee he disfigures that. Both enter his creatures though. So I thought it'd work, but no idea. No march. Let's 
part should already have to be battlefield to play the trigger. There goes nothing. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of want to try it though. That's a whole lot of stuff you're doing there, opponent. That's a whole lot of stuff. I concede. Don't know what we can do. We're pretty far behind. Tefri had us on a hard fucking lockdown. Super hard lockdown. Yeah, and then adding the Charming Prince with Yorian. It's not really too much we can do with that. It's the typical infinite combo. So I was just gonna go back and forth, back and forth, just gonna do it over and over and over and over and over again. What did what did they win with? Did they just win with infinity tokens? So we need a top deck, a Heliod's intervention, the one we have left because they exiled one of them. So tired of Yorian deck. Yeah, but I mean this one isn't even using fires. We're gonna keep that. We're gonna keep this one safe. We're gonna keep it safe. I was thinking maybe I should have killed that Charming Prince, but. Well, actually, no, Ugin's just dead now, actually. Right? No, not quite. Yeah, no, he bounces my token. <sighs> okay. Keep an open mind. They come in from dance, they all enter at the same time, so March doesn't see the other stuff entering. Does it not? Because when all lands enter at the same time, um, like if you escape shift, you get all of the um, Field of the Dead procs at the same time. I don't know how the wording on... Uh, I don't know what the wording is on Mirror March. So they just bring everything back, they make me discard it, and we're just super fucked. Yeah, can't do anything. Just take infinity damage, we're on a hard lock, can't play anything. No, I'll try it, I'll try it after this constructed event. Just let me, just let me finish this. Five and two right now. Did you either maximum of but two games. Yeah, maximum of two games. But I will try it. Yeah, I don't know what the wording is on Mirror March. I'd have to look at it. Because I don't know if it's as it enters the battlefield or when it enters the battlefield. Because if it's when it enters the battlefield, I think it will do it. As long as you have the trigger of it going at the very beginning. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, f we'll figure it out. Please be aggro opponent. Yeah, it looks like a... Yeah, it looks like an artifact deck. It sucks that they go first, though. Ooh. That's good. That's a good top deck. That's a good top deck. We like that. That's even that's even better against aggro. Now that sucks. We're gonna have to get a shout out of the sky. So this is gonna get out of range. Um 
Yeah, the puppet's gonna get out of range. We can still kill that overseer. Oh wait, no it's not. We're still gonna be able to kill it. Beautiful, so we get both of these actually. All right, yeah, we get all three. So hopefully he just like floods the board with little, little doodads. We can't kill that one. Cannot kill that. Oh, no. They all get out. Fuck. Everything's out of range, except for the Steel Overseer. Well. Yeah, that was good. That was good. We're taking Demuge. Yeah, that hurts. <laughs> yeah, so we're like dead. That's brutal. That was such a good top deck. Or it was such a good hand by the opponent. I don't know if it was all top deck or whatever. But yeah, if we don't get a Shatter of the Sky, we're super dead. Oh, do you know, a Shatter of the Sky. Was that eSports? Or was it eSports? The problem is, is that Tempered Steel still kind of fucks us really hard. Oh my god. Damn it, it can't be blocked. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks. Wow. Opponent had the fucking nuts. Wow, that was really good. Good job, opponent. So yeah, it does work. Hey, we went five and three with what should have been a garbage deck. Yo, what up, YouTube? Yeah, we going here, Strider. <laughs> Come on. You didn't really think that I was that type of person, did you? Thank you everyone so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you were even a little bit entertained by this video, please make sure to let me know down below. And if you have anything that you would like to see next, go ahead and leave that there too. And make sure to check out my live stream five days a week, every day except Sunday and Thursday. Stream times down below.